tires humming, humming out a song. The rumble of the diesel, the shifting of the gears, the rhythm when he's rolling is music to his ears. Cannonball, cannonball. Any kind of weather, any time of day, when the rig is ready, he'll be on his way. He'll carry any cargo, he'll go anywhere. Name the destination, and brother, he'll be there. Fixing the primary? No, I'm fixing the secondary. This is the secondary coil. This is the primary coil, remember? What a dope. Inner secondary, outer primary. Right, Jerry? That's right, Butch. Jerry, Jerry, you tie one of these. Been so long I forgot how. <laughs> Answer it, Butch. Where's Ginny? Open your mother. Get the lid out. Now, come on and hold still, Mike. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Holtzman. Sure, I'll tell him. Pop, it's Mr. Holtzman! Tell him I'll be right down. He'll be right down, Mr. Holtzman. Look, we've been friends for 20 years. I feel like I'm stabbing him in the back. Oh, sure. It's easy for you guys. But Mike and Jerry are the best crew I've got, and this could be a death trap. Mr. Holtzman, we're fighting a cold war for supremacy. We need the best crew you've got. Men who can handle themselves. Incidentally, where do we reach the other boy? Uh, Jerry. He boards at Mike's. Hello, Harry. Mike? Look, Mike, I'm in a jam. Hey, you and Jerry got a roll tonight. What? Well, it's government orders, top priority. I got 11 rigs out, and Palermo's loading for Montreal. There's nobody left but you and Jerry. Uh, Harry, it's my 20th anniversary. I'm taking Mary to the Royal York for dinner tonight. Mike, who knows better than me it's your anniversary? Would I ask you if it wasn't important? How important can it be? Why can't the load go out tomorrow? Wait a minute. What'll I tell him? He wants to know why it's got to be tonight. I got to tell him something. Orders from Ottawa. Mike, it's orders from Ottawa. It's a light load in the short haul. Ten miles east of Buffalo. He should be back before midnight. The rig is swamped and sealed and ready to roll. What am I going to tell Mary? We've been planning this for weeks. It's all right, Mike. Mike, are you there? Mike! Harry, this is Mary. <laughs> I know, dear. You forget I've been married to a trucker for 20 years. Yes, I know. Mike and Jerry will be there in 10 minutes. There's a clean work shirt in your bottom drawer, and I fixed the zipper on your jacket. Mary, it's top priority, a government order, but it's just a buffalo. I'll be back by midnight. And... You just be careful. Well, there's one saving grace. At least I can take off this girdle. It's killing me. Say it. Say what? I'm a heel. 
feel like a heel Mike. You saw what happened. Mary took the phone right out of my hand. Yeah, feel like a heel. Okay, so you're a heel. A big help. What do you want me to do? Commiserate with you? Just because you went to college for a year and learned some big words. Okay, okay. Sympathize. Is that what you want? Who knows? Maybe we'll be heroes. You heard the colonel. Yeah, I heard him. So what? So an atomic reactor broke down. The pile cools off. It could cost the AEC a billion dollars. Why do you think we've had police escorts both sides of the border? I don't know what the load is. It's pretty light. But if getting it through means that that pile will stay hot, it could mean plenty to lots of people. What time is it? 8.15. We're running ahead. Grab some coffee at Bertie's. Sam M. Have some coffee, boy. Thanks, no, we'll watch the race. Well, if it ain't old Cannonball, how are they treating you, Skipper? I can't complain, Bertie. Coffee for me. But eat some. We got some elegant pot roast. Uh-uh, I want peach pie and coffee. A gal could get rich off you guys. Ha! <laughs> Get out. Get out and don't reach. You don't know it yet. When I get home, I'm going to take her out to a midnight supper. And we're really going to wing ding it. Champagne, caviar, the works. Where's the glass of that bubbly for me? It's a deal. What's the damage? Forty dollars. Ten for the sweep. Big spender. So long, boys. And congratulations, Cannonball. Thanks, Bertie. What's the matter, honey?
Honey, get someone from inside. Just got a flash to get off the highway. Follow us. Figure this? No. long. I got a wife waiting for me. It's our anniversary. That's tough. Get out. What's the gag? Get out. You too, brother. That's a custom seal, brother. You break that, you'll be in real trouble. Perhaps you're right. Suppose you cut it. You got a wife waiting, remember? Where did you unload? Are you going to tell us that we have to beat it out of you? You know as much about it as we do. Once more, where did you unload? No place. Well, look, you broke the seal. How could we unload with a seal on? I want to know where you unloaded. He told you no place. Still no place. You're a rat. All right, Daddy, get back. Code 57, alert to all units on Route 22 east of Buffalo. Apprehend police car 147, repeat, 147, driven by two unauthorized persons wearing official state police uniforms. Roadblock procedure, A for able, 
at Taunton Bridge and Buffalo City Line. Repeat, code 57, alert to all units on Route 22 east of Buffalo. Apprehend police car 147. Repeat, 147, driven by two unauthorized persons. What did you do, leave those troopers out in the open? Didn't I tell you to drag them into the woods? There wasn't time. Ne These never two... mind. They've got us sewed up. Roadblocks at both ends. They only know the cop's car. That one's clean. Clean? It's as hot as a pistol. And how'd you figure on a getaway? I didn't figure on your being stupid enough to leave a trail. I didn't figure on a roadblock. We should have been off and gone by now. So where are we? Trapped with an empty truck. Wait a minute. The truck. Get those uniforms off and climb in. Climb in where? The truck, stupid. You, warm up the truck. And don't get any bright ideas. to get any bright ideas. Turn on the ignition. I did. She's cold. I'll have to prime her. Hold it. What's that? High octane gas. Most diesels need priming when they get cold. Isn't that right, Mike? Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. But don't try anything. This truck moves or you're both dead. Close those rear doors, then get in the cab. I can shoot it out with them. I'll have a chance. But you won't. Mike? Yeah. You ever hear of John Milton? John Milton? Uh-huh. He a trucker? No. English poet. Wrote a thing called Paradise Lost. What would I hear about him? I don't know. Jenny's on a poetry kick, English lit. What about him? There's a line in one of his poems. I forget which one. Great line. Oblivion is the price of perfidy. What does it mean? Never mind what it means. Watch the road.
You're going for a ride, mister. Take it easy, I said. Hit the brake. Sure. No brake. I ripped out the airline. to another. Happy anniversary, you two. Thanks. Hi, <laughs> kids. How's my butch? Congratulations, Mike. Well, you, I... Well, now, all right, go ahead, sock me. But I couldn't help it, Mike. Palermo took the load. They told me they needed the best crew I got for a decoy. Honey, it's all over. Yeah, all over. What about our anniversary? Come on, let's open up the champagne. Okay. <laughs> Didn't you know? You're all the anniversary I want. Come on. Down and down. 
the highway, wheeling right along. Hear the tires humming, humming out a song. The rumble of the diesel, the shifting of the gears, the rhythm when he's rolling is music to his ears. Cannonball, cannonball. Any kind of weather, any time of day, when the rig is ready, he'll be on his way. He'll carry any cargo, he'll go anywhere. Name the destination, and brother, he'll be there.